pulling up to the Commodore Perry, a, a wave of emotions goes over you. It's, it's an ominous building. It's been around for so long, and not a lot of people even know what history is in that building or what history has come out of that building. When you walk into the, the main lobby, as it was once upon a time, the building just takes you back. The building is so beautiful. It's like walking into a time capsule. All the marble and the, and the woodworking, it's just amazing. And it's really sad to think that most of Toledo passes by that building on a daily basis and doesn't realize the history that is within those walls. There's a lot of dark hallways. There's a lot of corners and, and different passageways that you're not really sure where they lead, but once you get going through the through the corridors and up in through these hidden stairways, that it just takes you further back into a time where you know it, it's just amazing to think all the people that went through there and to think of all the history and and happenings that went on within that building. It's just awesome to see the way that the building is now with my own eyes and to see what it was in its heyday back when everybody was there and the building was live and jumping. It's such a it's, it's heartbreaking really. It's really sad to see all that history just fall away, but just to be a part of it and to be able to go in there and, and see all that beautiful, beautiful artwork and structure to the building, it's just awesome. It's a really, really cool place to go and it's a really cool thing to have right under our noses here in Toledo. That grand ballroom was wild. That grand ballroom was really cool and spooky just because some of the walls are still painted with the murals and, and uh, the way that the one wall is slightly missing in spots, it's just, the, the, the enormity of the room itself is just overwhelming. It's really cool, especially when the lights are out and it's dark and you got a laser light pointed up everywhere and it, it's just really cool to be in that room. The chandelier room, that room was really cool. I like that room a lot. Just, it was sad to see the chandelier on the ground, but to, to just walk through that room and and see all the mirrors and the artwork on the walls and and to think of all the energy and history that's that's once lived in that room man that's really something I mean, you, you kind of just gotta go in there just to see what it's like and just feel the energy in that room it's it's cool the church looking room was kind of weird I mean I like the way that the the room was built I like the artwork of the room I never really got any kind of different feelings in that room other than it was just like a a warm space something like that but just to to look out that view and see the view that may have been you know once upon a time that's it's kind of neat the kitchen's crazy the kitchen has got it's almost like they just quit for the day you know all the equipment's still all there and uh, a couple of the pictures we took it almost looked like there was actually you could still see the hustle and bustle of the of the employees back there throughout their busy day it was there was noises and, and different shadows and things that were just moving everywhere in that place. And you could almost, like I said, just feel the busy work day going on while we were there, just like, like we weren't even there. It was really cool to see that. The basement locker room was crazy. I couldn't believe we even got into that place. I mean, to go through a little you know, hole in the wall and, and come up upon this room that's been sealed off for you know decades and just see something that no one has really seen in that amount of time. It's that's something special and I was happy to be a part of it. Just the history and the just I mean to open a locker and see someone's tie hanging in there that's been there for, you know, thirty years or whatever or their receipt book from the day. It, it's that's cool. That's cool. Oh, I wish they would redo that that hotel. I, I, I would really love to see that place come back to life and be as vibrant as it once was one day to to take my children or grandchildren there and maybe have a have a banquet or some sort of thing one day just to be a part of something in that building with all that beautiful history around that'd be really nice